I am beautiful, the universe says yes, and so it is. I am abundant, the universe says yes, and so it is. But so many of us are using disempowering language. Blessings and blessings from the beautiful mountains of Vista, California. Today's transmission is the two deadliest words, the two most toxic words you could ever say. The two words that are constantly keeping you from living your greatness. Oh, oh, let's get it. And those two words are, I can't. So many of us are walking around declaring and deciding what we can't do. And the thing to understand about the universe, about source energy, about God, about your God, is there is no limitations on it. But so many of us are arguing for why we can't. So many of us are so, so uh, convinced that we're not pretty enough or tall enough or I can't figure it out or I can't or I don't. These type of words are like a magnet, right? There's something called the law of magnetism. Another way of saying that would be the law of attraction. And so many of us don't understand that whatever we say after I, I can't, the universe says yes and so it is. I am beautiful, the universe says yes and so it is. I am abundant, the universe says yes and so it is. But so many of us are using disempowering language. I can't, literally is the thing that is obliterating your dreams. I can't is the thing that is keeping you from seeing the possibility. You know, sometimes you, you, you gotta speak it into existence. Sometimes you gotta declare it. You gotta prophesy before you ever even can fathom how, right? Because that's the thing. So many of us say we can't because we can't see the how. But the thing to understand about the universe, the thing to understand about the power that lives within you, is that the moment you declare it, you immediately set into motion a manifestation process where the universe is working while you're sleeping. It's working on that which you can see and that which you can't see. It's moving the invisible into visibility. And your only job in that process is to continue to set your intention, do work, and then allow the universe to do the dance. Allow it. But every time you make a declaration, every time you say you can't, you get in the way. You get in the way of yourself and you get in the way of the medicine that is on your heart that is trying to be birthed. And here's the thing to understand. There are people all over the world right now who need to hear or need to experience what you have. Your medicine, your product, that idea, that trip you're supposed to take that you keep putting off because you say you can't because you haven't paid this bill off or you haven't figured this out. One of the things that I present to some of my clients all the time is if your life depended on it, would you make a way out of no way? And the answer is always yes, why? Because we are willing to move mountains when it's life or death. And I challenge you to not take this life for granted because it is life or death. None of us know how long we have on this planet, on this beautiful blue dot that we call Earth. And so while we do have breath, while we do have life, one of the worst things you could do to yourself is declare linguistically and energetically what you can't. So I ask you, I challenge you to place it on the altar to be altered. Place it on the altar, give it away. Give it to the universe, give it to God, give it to Buddha, give it to Krishna, give it to Allah, give it to whatever is most potent for you, but give it away. You're not holding the whole thing anyway. This idea that you can control it is actually delusional. So declare it, claim it, take action, move in, and let go. That's it. That's the process. Blessings and blessings. From my heart to yours, if you are new to the Love's Voice family. Now, I want you to hear that. The Love's Voice family. What we are is a tribe. And if you're new to this tribe and you're on YouTube, click that red subscribe button and join us. If you're on Facebook, leave a comment and share this message. That's to everybody. Blessings and blessings. <sighs> Feels good to be alive. I'll see you soon. And remove, inoculate that languaging out of your vocabulary. I love you guys. Blessings and blessings.